Hey dolls, it's Theodore here for Ask Theodore Thursdays. Oh, it has been a, such a busy week. I hope you checked out my Christmas video so that you can see what's happening here at Gingham Place as far as Christmas decorating goes. I will share the tree, etc., with you very soon. Also, don't forget to check out my Christmas playlist. Ding, ding, ding. It is fabulous. There are tons of videos on there that will help you get through the holidays because I love my dolls and I love sharing ideas. Uh, for today, it's so funny. As I was putting the Ask Theodore Thursdays questions together, trying to get my hair done, fixing my face up because I was shiny, I could not get my hair right. And it's still not right, but whatever. I used a flat iron, I used dry shampoo, I used Shuamora paste, I used everything, and I just, it's not like doing what I want it to. And it was funny as I was pulling this open, I was like, I need to ask Theodore Thursday. But I'm Theodore, so what do I ask? I don't know. How do I fix my hair when it's growing out? <sighs> Maybe I'll write myself an email and then I'll answer it on my own show. Would that be weird? Anyway, all right, for those of you that are lost, this is Ask Theodore Thursdays and I have three questions to answer sitting here on my iPad and I'm gonna start right now. Okay. Hi Theodore, I always look forward to your videos. They are so informative and it is honestly so kind of you to share your tips and tricks on hair care and style. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I mean that. Um, okay, so today I wanted to ask you about high ponytails. My hair is so thick that in a few hours my high ponytail starts to sag down. It looks so horrible. In addition, do you have any tricks for styles for very thick hair? Thank you so much and congrats on your new place. I am so excited for you and your hubby. Take care, Tanya. All right, Miss Tanya, very familiar with the thick hair. Uh, my first tip is gonna be for you to invest in some bungee bands. They sell these at Sally Beauty Supply and I will put a link below in the description because I love these products. Basically, it's this thing, I will insert a photo. Okay, it'll look good right there. I'll put a photo right there. So basically you can see there's a hook and then there's a bungee. So what you do is you pull your hair in a ponytail and you hook it and you twist and you twist and you twist and you twist so that it's really, really tight and then you lock in the other hook. The, the reason that's better for thick hair is because thick hair, you might just twist it twice. If you have fine hair, you might twist it five times. But it basically gives you a custom tension because I don't know about you, but I've tried to put ponytails around really thick hair and I can only get two, but then they sag, just like you're saying. So maybe you need three, but it just gives you a lot more versatility and they're very inexpensive at Sally Beauty Supply and they come in black, brown, and tan. Okay. So I hope that helps. Um, hi, I am 14 and I maybe have one and a half inches of hair. My hair is super thick and super curly. I have a major problem with, want, with it not wanting to go in the same direction. I know all about the curly hair. Uh, my hair has always been dry and not shiny, so I wasn't afraid to dye it because I had nothing to lose. So I dyed my hair um, to black with a simple box dye at home. I straighten my hair quite a bit and I use Garnier Triple Nutrition System for shampooing and conditioning. I really can't figure out how to style my hair curly, but I really hate using my flat iron. I'm really stuck and I don't know what to do. I have a really hard time finding curly hairstyles for men without being long like yours. I really like your hairstyle, but I don't have the length to do it. Any tips for a good hairstyle? Also, how does your look hair looks so straight, but it's naturally curly. And also, okay, I, uh, this is the, uh, the only, <laughs> I have to stop because there's a lot of great questions here. Um, I'm gonna email you some photos because I don't have the rights to the photos of some haircuts. Basically, if your hair is curly, um, I like to do shorter on the sides and curls on top. Not short, short, but like maybe like a four if you wanna use a number and then like texturized and curly up top. That can look really good. Basically what you want to avoid is the round. If you're doing the round, it needs to be longer. So since you're saying you don't have the length, that's not gonna work for you. So I would recommend shorter on the sides, curly on top. And there's a product from Redken that I love for curly hair called Ringlet. And I will put a link in the description. It's really super easy to use. You put it on your hair when it's damp and I used it when my hair was long and curly, but it will totally work for you short and curly as well. Now, as far as my hair, I had a keratin done on my hair like three months ago, I think. 
I was gonna make a video about it, but I forgot. I, I did take some footage, but we'll see. Um, so I have a keratin on the top. Now on the sides, I actually flat iron it. Uh, another thing that I do is after I get out of the shower, if my hair got wet or damp, I'll just put a, um, like a do-rag or what's it called? A bandana around my hair and basically compress it. So if you wanted to make your hair smoother and straighter, you could comb it where you want it when it's wet and really tie a tight um, bandana around your hair and sleep. I know you look crazy, but you wake up and your hair is smooth, I promise. Uh, you might need to touch it up with the flat iron, but it can certainly save you a lot of time. So that's my long-winded answer for your challenges, but check your email box because I already sent you an email of some hairstyles to check out. All right, the last question is, hi Theodore, I love your videos. You have helped me so much. I have a problem. My hair is dyed two shades lighter than my natural color, and my natural hair color is a dark medium ash brown, and um, I have ombre style. My hair is dyed on top and bleached fading at the ends. We all know what ombre is, but thank you for clarifying. Uh, my roots are growing out, so it looks like three tones of color on my hair. I want to do my natural hair color with ombre because it the tones of... Wait, I want to do my natural color with ombre because I love the ombre style so much. Hold on, this is getting confusing. Oh, so basically, okay. I wanted to get a dye that's close to my natural as possible to do the ombre so that I don't have to worry about my roots growing out. What should I do? I need your help. This is from Na Nanita from New, New Jersey. Um, so here's what you need to do. If you like your natural color, you need to grow out your natural color and then have a color technique on ombre done on that natural color. Now, if it's three shades, so natural, the medium tone, and the light, you can have that medium tone brought down to the shade of your natural and it'll blend uh, if it's done properly. So basically, those two to three shades that you said the middle part is lighter, you need to bring that down two to three shades to the level of your natural. And then just keep doing ombre technique on your natural, not on a dyed hair color. Because that's the, the beauty of ombre is that it can be very low maintenance. But if you're doing a base color as well, you're gonna keep needing to do a base color or you'll have roots. So you just have to decide at the end of the day if it's worth it to go through the whole process of getting your roots done to have that lighter color that you seem to be liking or if you just wanna do it on your natural, have them darken the middle part to the natural and keep the ombre and have a great day. <laughs> Basically I'm like, and enjoy. So that's my opinion there. Whew, I talk so fast sometimes. It's kind of hilarious. If my, if my, um, actually people can totally see me because there's windows around. I'm sure that they're like, what is this dude doing? He's like, I have like a huge light because it is actually super dark out right now. It's like 4.30. Yeah, and it's super dark. I'm getting used to, this, to the winter quite well. Anyway, uh, what I did, sorry, I'm like so scattered right now. I'm on my way to a party um, for Michelle's M line. It's gonna be really fun. It's not a party, it's like a shopping event. So I'm gonna go buy some stuff, need some more bronzer. Um, but I got to raid the Glamour Beauty Closet today and I'm gonna do two new videos, um, kind of winter themed slash hair themed. Um, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, so basically my next video will be coming out on Tuesday. I'm trying to get to my regular schedule. And if there's another day that's better dolls, please let me know. I just sort of arbitrarily picked Tuesdays and Thursdays. So obviously Ask Theodore Thursdays has a nice ring to it. But um, the other day is definitely flexible and I'm trying really hard to keep to my schedule. So bear with me dolls. I love you. All over 100,000 of you and growing. Mwah. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And please send your questions to ask at theodoreleaf.com so that I can answer all your hair conundrums and beauty conundrums. We can talk makeup. We can talk skincare. We can talk exfoliating. I'm going to save this.